welcome to part one of my Anno 2205 Let's Play. Or was it 2205? Yeah, 2205. Now, let me put on the timer as this introduction goes on. You know when you just forget the timer? There we go. I'm glad you accepted my invitation. Samantha Beaumont, Global Union Supervisor of the Lunar Licensing Program. We have a lot to discuss, but first, I'd like to introduce you to your Artificial Data Amalgamating Messenger. Thank you for participating in the Lunar Licensing Program. The program stipulates that your corporation set up operative spaceports to act as bases for a new wave of lunar colonization. You will further assist Global Union in the development of a fusion energy reactor to avert Earth's impending energy crisis. Officially, only mega corporations are allowed in the program, but I personally took a stand for you. You just have to sign in with your corporation name. Okay, so it's going to be the uh, JTA Corp, of course. Thanks, but I need to see your corporate logo as well, for identification purposes. Ooh, um... Wish you could put, like, JTA in there, but that might not be a bear. Why not? My superiors at the Global Union had reservations about you, but I've convinced them. They even decided to allocate you high-grade territory for new corporate headquarters. Choose a sector. There you go, I have the one with the deposits Almost on there. it. Almost there. We just have to negotiate the terms of your contract with Global Union. I guess I'll go with Funding advanced. conditions and the left. You are now entering Phase 1 of the Loop Listen Program. Union assigned you territory in Earth's temperate region to establish a spaceport and a base of operations. The construction of a space elevator to Union headquarters is also required. For further instructions, speak to your official contact person. Global Union wishes you success. Okay, so that's our first objective. A true island paradise, don't you? The cold area here is very rich in natural resources. I wonder if that's the reason why a member of the Big Five is planning for an underwater research project. Ooh, under underwater research. Probably this guy. No, no, that's, no, no, that's reading guy. The protocol demands that you yeah. establish a spaceport in this area. Is that me? Yes, that looks like the it's me. The spaceport building site off the coast is still unstaffed. But as soon as you've built the necessary housing, your construction team will begin. Okay, so we have to do that, eh? I think I'll put it straight in the middle, wherever we have to build. Oh, is it just residents? Okay. Well, I'm going to. I know to... there's a lot of things to keep in mind, but add a compiled database where you can access all the information you need. Is that all I can go up to, or is it all because it's costing a bit? I think I'll do in spaces of four because four looks cool. Someone call somebody. Wait, wait. How do I delete that? No, no, no. Delete, delete. Where's the delete button? Um. Demolish. There we go. Then constructing houses. There. Then even more workers. There. There. Okay, I'm gonna go up to there right now. Is that what we're supposed to go for first? How much? Okay, first I need to check how much resin actually is. Building material shortages should be issue anymore. Um. So ten should be ten. How much does this create? A ten. Okay, so it's one each. I guess that's fine. Is there a way to rotate this? No. So if I just put that there, and then put that guy... Hmm. There. And then we put the road... There. 
it means we get more and more of these now. Cool. Uh, is that all we're supposed to create now? Or are we supposed to continue creating these guys? I think we're supposed to create these guys with the development we have. I think that's what they want us to do as a limit right now. Oops. Attention. I made it a Get two. Slowing down production. Okay, of the farms. I'll think I'll put a farm over here. Organic food is perceived as needless many mega corps. Good to see you share the union's perspective. Food. Your so food. One of the first ready. Keep up the pace. Your competitors will try to up. Cool. For the next construction stage, you'll need qualified ground staff to operate the spaceport. Make sure to adhere to union standards while providing the required infrastructure. Your industry okay. suffers from a shortage of workforce. This is productivity. Our protocol calls for the following in cases like this. Warning. Unfulfilled demand for specific consumer products. What? Low on water? No water was a thing. Is that water, right? Yeah. Requires coastal stuff. Okay. We need this desalination plant. These days, it's the only way to come by drink of water. Well, that's great to know, eh? <laughs> Good. We should keep the procedure in danger. See? It can now. Oh. Demoris to that. Warning. Energy demand too high. Energy. So now we do this as well. I guess put that there. Ah, uh, there's some places where I haven't actually got the the roads done yet. If I just fill that out, that's going to annoy me. So now I can create the info dome. But I just need a little bit more. What does it do? Yeah. Just gives people information. Would I want to increase production here? I believe so. Now an info dome as well. A broad range of information. This will enable your employees to develop their interests as well as skills. So that is basically organic food and more information. Then do we actually click some? Oh, we have to click every single one of them to upgrade. Remarkable progress. Use some construction crews and ground personnel faster than I was expecting. You are more than ready for the first major hurdle. The program to connect your city with the Global Union Space Station via a space elevator. So far, only megacorps like the Big Five use such oh, technology. Oh, you can actually... Well, I'm sure you have the intention. Just click. But it costs two... Okay, I see. So now do we go to this one, and then we can we need to construct... A uh, constructor boss... Vitamins. Uh, um, okay. Is that it? But with that, we need both of these. So, need that in there. Then there. Right? Yes. And that guy goes in there. And that guy there. Not enough uh, transport. 
that's current balance. So a way to help the balance is to upgrade the people. And upgrading the people will... Okay, we need to do some stuff with the... Global market. Go. I've got this one, there we go. So now with the operators uses five. How much is this? Oh, we still got an energy problem. Construction of new building type is possible. I hope this helps you. a positive balance. Yeah, sure, I'll try with all of the problems happening. Good. You gather the components needed for the elevator. Only the elevator cable requires special materials you can't Oh, uh, God. I arranged for a delivery. Extra win. Unfulfilled demand for specific consumer products. Wind power. <laughs> Attention. Staff shortage. Slowing down production. Okay. And a way to increase staff is to upgrade things. I believe. But we are now producing Octobots, and we'll be able to produce some vitamin drinks too soon. We need Your 16, so two fruit this plants. Here's what it be. Okay, so two of these, one, two, and the vitamin drinks. All of that connected up with a road. And now we, we just need more power, more trucks, more everything pretty much. Wow, this game requires a lot of solar power stuff. Warning. Energy demand too high. Countermeasures recommended. Uh, so better logistics as the well. Clever move, seeing your staff's health. Benefits like that make you a more attractive employer. Why is a promotion not possible? Oh, but we only had a limit on operators. Construction options ah. expanded. I think I'll put that over there. I never knew we can get power that way. Cool. So development in more of these guys. just need to get more workforce. We just need to get 170 more. Is it? Okay. Does the work also mean show unfulfilled demand specific commodities. Okay. So low in organic food. So need more stuff in organic food. So workers rice farm. Another rice farm. Ok, 
Okay. At least we're increasing the amount of operators. Okay, can't do anything more there. So let's create more. Not there. Just construct that. And start out there. At least we're starting to not have that uh, worker population problem now. See, it's working now. Congratulations on your first taste of success. First taste of success. I'm sure I had some when I was a little child or something. So it isn't exactly my first taste of success, but still, thanks. <laughs> God, I'm really concentrating this, so I haven't really been commentating much. Uh, this is the first time I've ever played this game, may I add, but still, no excuse. Trying to keep us as fishing electricity. Oh, okay. And why was I told that I was better? I'm going to say. Do I need more organic food? Doesn't seem to be so. But I'm going to upgrade anyway. Ah, oh, needs more information stuff. Well, we could. Oh, they're not connected to a rope because this piece here. There we go. Ah, I knew there was something going on here. Nick Papadakis. Papadakis advises. You want a deal? Just come my warehouse. Okay. Sounded a bit from me, but alright. If we do an information thing here, then it means we can get more information down south over here. There, right? Or is it there? There we go. All right. I just need ten more people. Missions are ready. Okay. Start elevator constructed in one fall, other rooms are mad. My associate, John Rafferty, is, is that what? here with a special material delivery. Okay. That's all yeah, it needs. We want to ensure the right board's safety. After over. People of Earth, this is the manifesto of moons in pence. The Global Union waged war on us for generations with weapons like falsehood, negligence, and exploitation. And the LEC bowed its head in servile But not anymore. Set no foot on the land of our forefathers. We are the Auto Watch. The 
The moon is free. And with that, we attached out of boom. nowhere, sunk all my ships, and took over the car. All right, no time to stop. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you, and good.